So, I'm at the in-laws on vacation again, and I figured I'd get some things done. As you might know by now, Einsta sent me their handheld 3D scanner, the Vega, and I've yet to do an HD scan with it, and I've just a perfect project for that. I've borrowed a legendary front badge of a Friends R34 GTR, and that's what we're gonna scan, and do a few custom versions of. So let's get started. The Vega comes with a tripod and I also bought a small turntable so I can get some great scans with the Vega being stationary. So the scanner has an easier time picking up all the details as well as having less trouble with all the shiny bits. I'm gonna spray the batch with a powder. Good old dry shampoo. And I'm also gonna add a couple of these reflective markers to the turntable itself. That should do. Boom. Well, that seems nice. Ooh, can probably work with that. All right, let's bring it over to the PC. As soon as you hit file transfer, the Vega pops up in StarVision and you can browse all your scans. I'm picking the scan I believe to be the best out of the three attempts I made. First, I usually import the model into my model library. From where I can pop it into a new workspace. Before processing the point cloud, I trim the easy bits. I try to align the floor horizontally to mark everything holding shift and then deleting that. Then I grab a couple more straight points and I move on to processing. In my tests I've done, the one-click processing always had better results compared to when I played around with the settings myself. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. And that model is looking really freaking nice. At this point I can do a bit more trimming at the bottom, that way I won't have to mess around with it in Fusion. When that's done, I simply hit export and pick the STL. Next up is opening up Fusion and importing the model. I usually try to do my best from start to align the model perfectly, because it makes remodeling everything from scratch way easier. And jumping ahead, this is what I came up with trying to recreate the original. Unlike in my previous video, where I modeled the front lip, I was using mesh surfaces and modified them by hand slowly. This time around, I've gone with sketches that I can dimension perfectly and work with extrusions to get my base shape in a good place, which I then can edit with chamfers and fillets as needed. 
There are definitely some more details I can improve upon, but sketching this up took me a significant amount of time because as I said previously, I'm not a master modeler, but even so, I can work myself through getting something like this done and I will be uploading the STL file of my scan as well as my own recreation for you to check out, improve or redo entirely. Links as always in the description. Also, subscribe while you're down there. Now, because I never intended to simply recreate the original for myself, I went ahead and sketched up another version of this badge. And that is the badge I intend to resin 3D print. And I'll be printing that right over here on this printer. I'll be using this ABS-like photopolymer resin because this is much tougher than the regular resin people tend to put into these printers when printing things like tiny models and such. So yeah, let's get going. Got them gloves. This is the messy bit when it comes to resin 3D printing, I guess. All right, look at that. I had all the supports auto-generated, but I'm pretty new to resin 3D printing and I'm really not sure whether or not it was actually necessary to have this much support. I think it came out really nice actually. I will have to paint the details so, though, but that is a whole different topic I need to research first. You also might be wondering why I decided to print this badge in the first place, but that is super easy to explain.
I'll see you in the next one. Bye.